Hey guys, welcome to Rotorat. I'm Ladrib and I'm here with my friend Mike, aka Curb FPV. Today we're gonna to be working on one of my favorite tricks, the Emmelman. Come on. There it is! Yes! Alright, so we've been flying with Sean a lot lately, and he keeps talking about doing this trick. It's a Emmelman? Yeah. I can't even say the name right. Emmelman? Emmelman. 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 So the name comes from acrobatic planes, 3D planes. This is a fixed wing maneuver okay. that's been kind of adapted for FPV. Half power loop, roll, and you go that way. It's a very handy trick to have in your bag because it opens up how you can maneuver around a spot. So just like a split S is a great way to smoothly change your direction, where a split S means you roll and pull under it. And Emmelman has essentially the opposite effect where rather than going over an object, you get to go under an object and under, then change that way, right? So, up, and, then, and then roll out, right, yeah. So you just go under, power loop up, roll out. And it's something that you might end up starting to do as you bail out of power loops, right? So like, okay. let's say you're trying to power loop around an obstacle, right. you're power looping up like, oh no, I'm gonna hit the top, roll out, right? But the idea is you wanna make it as smooth make as it possible. Make like you so, did it on purpose. Right, well, or actually do it on <laughs> purpose. do it on purpose. The okay. idea is do it on purpose and, and make it all flow together as you go up. Up and roll on out. It's more than just getting upside down and rolling over. Right. It's about getting that momentum to push yourself so backwards. So ha having, having the travel. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the hardest parts is adding enough throttle on your way up to inversion so that you have that backwards momentum. What I see a lot of people struggle with is they come out, they're up, they roll over, and they're just stopped. Gotcha. One of the most important parts of this technique is to get your momentum going the other way as part of the power loop. So as you come out and you go Throw up, back. use that throttle. Like when you're looking up at the sky, add that throttle, start pushing yourself that way. So as you come out, you've got your momentum going this way, and so then you're already traveling this way. So as you roll out, you just keep just your keep momentum, momentum going, right? So I think what we'll do is we'll start in the open air, just get used to the movement. Right. Then we'll do it around some trees, right? Where okay. you have kind of no ceiling and you can, you can kind of get used to the practice, you can go up, you can use the dive to hide any kind of momentum you need to make up. But ideally, the best place to do this trick and why we're here today is a parking garage. I think it's so cool when you can go out of one floor, Emmelman up and shoot into another. It's very difficult and impressive, especially if you can Emmelman up and shoot into the other level while still upside down and complete the roll. Ooh, that's, that's tricky. More often than not, I'll, you know, I'll go up, Emmelman, complete the roll, and then go into the gap. But when right. you can get to the point where you actually blast into the gap upside down and then roll out. Mm. Oh, I've got three, cam three cameras and three drones. Okay, so we got <laughs> Once you're starting to feel warmed up, all you want to do is do that half power loop and roll out of it. And I'd say practice going both ways because uh, I think I definitely favor going kind of that way out of the rotation, so I need to try and force myself to go the other way. Um, something to keep in mind is you'll want to mix in yaw of the opposite direction to control where your rotation point is on the screen. So that's, that's a real fundamental skill is mixing. It's like if I go up, and I just roll. See, I'm looking down at the ground. If I wanna make the roll centered to the screen, I need to yaw the opposite way. So there, now the roll is nice and centered. So the same applies when you're rolling out of an Emmelman. If I do the Emmelman, if I do the half power loop and just roll out, oh, I'm looking at the sky, right? And that's really gonna cut your momentum. So if you add in yaw in the opposite direction, so roll and yaw, now we're nice and centered. And if you, you know, are struggling with the momentum thing like we were talking about, if you overdo the yaw, it'll end up pointing you down. So now I'm gonna use more yaw than I should, boom. And now look, I'm like, in that case, I was pointed down at the ground, which helped me build up some of the momentum I shaved off with the power loop. But really the best way to keep your momentum up is to use power in the loop part to, to thrust yourself backwards. So just a lot of power, boom. But ultimately, like I was talking about, the parking garage is what's gonna make the coolest ones. You come out here, power up, roll over, and shoot in. Now you see that like with that one, I completed the roll before I went to the gap, right? Which is fine, I think that looks cool, but now I'm gonna try and get really crazy with it and see if I can go. Whoop. Oh, real sloppy, but I saved it. Real sloppy, but you see the idea there is to, to actually thrust backwards into the gap 
But now you have to keep in mind that with this parking garage especially, when you go through the window, it's not like there's a lot of elevation to the ground. So you're gonna not have a ton of time to roll, but you still wanna do it as slow as possible to keep it nice and flowy. Come on. There it is, yes. Woo! I'm proud of that one. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I'm gonna be able to do that? You're gonna do that. Exactly like that. You're gonna power right into the window. And then we're gonna go pick up the pieces. No, I think... <laughs> you're getting to the point where you're powering in, kind of inverted and rolling out. That's probably a more than one day of, of practice. Okay. I think that's that takes like a lot of like timing and getting like the, the muscle memory in. Right. But I think today we'll get you to the point where you can go up Edelman and then go back into the garage. All right. um, I spent multiple days on the simulator practicing the Immelman before I yeah. felt like I was at that point to where I could actually go into Blast it. Blast in backwards. Yeah. That's a little tricky. So have you done this trick in any form at all before? Uh, not on purpose. Okay, yeah, so you've kind of done it maybe as like a power loop bailout, right? Yeah, yeah bailing out a okay. power loop. Well, now we're gonna get you doing it on purpose and making it look good. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Just warm up, get some freestyle on. You wanna start doing that, maybe just do some power loops. Yeah, there, that's a good, uh, so, oh, okay, so you really blasted past yeah, it. Yeah, way past it. That's okay. All right, here we go. That was good, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think you've got the power down, you know. Th there we go, boom. That's it, first try, sweet. Did, so how much yaw did you use there? Did you use any? Um, I it looked like you got a little bit because you didn't end up looking at the sky, so it looks right. like you've got a good a good mix in there. Oh, are you going for the garage? Uh, not exactly. No ceiling. Okay, so there I think you didn't use enough yaw because right. you see how you, when you came out of it you were looking too far at the sky. Yep. Okay. Use more yaw in the direction that is opposite of the direction you're rolling okay. so that you end up more with your nose down as you come out of it. Okay. More yaw? Uh -huh. Yeah, see. Wow, I got and it right the first time. If you're struggling with mixing the yaw, just loop more. So loop to the point where you're looking back down at the ground. Okay. Then when you just roll, it'll correct you and you'll be looking you're forward. Already, you're already looking so at the So I was doing it so that when I started my roll, my quad was like this, and then I used yaw to correct as I rolled so that I went like that. Okay. What you can do is do more of a loop, get upside down, and then when you if you just use roll, boom, you're perfect. Right. The problem with is with that though is that getting upside down is gonna be more stopping your momentum. Right. So that's why you want to get to the point where you loop over and are like at this point, your thrust is going the way you want, right. and then use the roll and yaw counter mixing to go like that. But as you're learning it, there's nothing wrong with just going up, over looping, and then just use roll, and then you'll have to add throttle to get going forward. So I said, I don't know why I get a, an adrenaline dump trying because a trick it's on fun. camera. You should get that. It's the whole point of doing this is to get that adrenaline rush. Come on. And it gets shaky. That means you're doing it right. There you go. See there, yeah, you did more power looping. Go even more on the power loop. Like, get looking down at the ground. More, more, more. Now roll out. Ah, ah it gets scary, though. It gets scary. Yeah, right? it was moving pretty fast toward the ground. That's good, though. Nice. That was good. So actually what I want to challenge you to do is between these two trees that you just flew through, okay. power loop, Emmelman or not, and try to do it like between the trees. So a little lower. So you see how you went over the trees? Yep. Try to do the power loops so that you go upside down between them. So a little bit tighter. That's fine. Yes. 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 That was awesome. Yes. Okay. Now just Emmelman out of that. More. Oh, that was pro. That was, that was so good. So you did the thing where you over looped and then just rolled. Maybe try to do the same thing between the trees and do the counter mix yaw. I know I'm throwing a lot at you. Counter mix. Dude, okay. Yeah. And now, I stayed out of the tree. A little lower though, because you're you're above that still, which is fine. Boom! Oh, and you made it under that time. I don't want to push you too fast, but I'd say it's time to maybe start thinking about the parking garage. Like you're getting there, man. It's really good. So yeah, you can enter from the side there. I appreciate the commitment. Go out further than you should. Um, so when you exit, like the bottom to do your Emmelman, right. go out further than you should, loop up and over, and like 
you know, don't worry about kind of bringing to your stall. Like spot, spot your entrance, right? Okay. So um, to get a feel for it. So. You know, you were doing it tight, which is ultimately good. That's what you want to do. But yeah, go out way out there, Emmelman. And now, oh, oh, you were good, man. You were good. Your camera angle just got jacked way up. That was perfect. It's just then shooting in. That's a good thing to cover, actually. What camera angle are you using? Okay, so I was running about 25. Okay. And then recently, somebody was giving me a little bit of grief about that. And said, I was not giving you grief. Just saying. They said, uh, they said that I wouldn't be as bad of a pilot if I lowered the, that, the camera angle. That was Sean. You must be talking about Sean. You must be talking <laughs> so about now Sean. I think I'm somewhere between 15 and 20. That's what I'm using. I use about 20. You don't go as fast on average. You're not just, your cruising speed is slowed down. It helps you flow a little bit. Well, at my age, technical. I don't have the reaction time that a lot of younger people do. So it's nice to actually slow down just a little bit so that you don't hit things quite as hard. But I think you're, I mean, I think it shows that it helps you like do more freestyle based flying. Cause I mean, yeah. look how quickly you're picking this up. Like the, through the trees, it was gorgeous. I think this is just really difficult because even though you got the turnaround, then you still have to shoot a pretty tight gap. Well, it, it's extra hard for me because I have trouble, you know, going through the tight gaps like that, just flying straight. You're gonna out. get it. So. You're gonna get it. Is he going for it? You, go, you can't stop. You can't stop, Mike. Yes! Yes! Woo! That was awesome, man. That was awesome. From there, I think you just work on bringing it tighter and tighter until you're, you know, whipping it in. But that was epic. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, come on, get back in there. <laughs> Honestly, I would not have uh, thought to even try doing that trick without a little peer pressure. Got this. Yes! Ah, oh, perfect. It's, the parking garages are so tricky because you have a ceiling, you have a floor, and lots of bounce off, back and forth off. Yeah, not, not a lot of headroom past the window either. Mm -hmm. That didn't sound good. <laughs> Is it just not plugged? Nice, okay. Quad's holding up, these things are so durable. GoPro's still recording, it's a good day. It's still a little shaky on it, but it's it's coming together. Like yeah. I, I really I would not have done, have even attempted that trick without a little bit of peer pressure and some practice and being taught through it. Dude, you got it, man. I like you, you have absolutely learned the trick. I think it's just a matter of keeping it, keeping it practicing, just keep at it and you know, get it tighter and tighter. Like I said, I don't know if that, like getting to the point where you're really like, boom, blasting inverted into the window is something that you can get one day. It's, you know, it's, yeah. you're gonna maybe let it like sink in a bit. So well, my, no my worries. My timing on the power loops isn't great to start off with. This so is gonna help a lot. I mean, you know, just in a few attempts, you were doing the power loops like between the trees and then turning into an element. So like, you've got it. You've got all the foundational pieces. I think it's just a matter of repetition. Grinding at it and keep making progress. Cause like you make like, you improved a lot today. Like you're really killing it. So if you can get it today, great. If you need to work on it a little later another day, no worries, man. Maybe on a softer target. <laughs> eh, maybe on a softer target. This is the cool one though, but it's, it's, it's. you know, something else that helps is not to just keep grinding it back to back. So maybe just get some flights in here, man. Just, you know, let's, why don't we all just get some freestyle in and enjoy this awesome spot. This is one of my favorite spots. So let's get some lines in. Let's have a good day. Thanks for doing this, man. Bow! Hope you guys learned something. I'm really impressed with how quickly Mike picked this up. If you guys don't pick it up quite as quick, don't get discouraged. It takes everyone a different amount of practice to learn different tricks. It's all about what clicks for you. Just keep at it, keep trying, and most importantly, just have fun. Mm -hmm.